so the next lesson is on the summer of the beautiful white horse this is the first lesson from supplementary which you have to study the summer of the beautiful white horse a beautiful white horse this story is about two armenian boys who belongs to a tribe whose hallmarks are trust and honesty if you want the open the test book if you don't have the test book you have the pdf already sent to you uh, now you cannot open doesn't matter but you will just uh, go through this lesson because it's a supplementary you need to prepare essay type question you need to prepare short answer type question and annotation type questions from this particular text so you will find that uh, in the beginning of the lesson itself uh, the introduction which is given is the story is about two poor boys two boys uh, they are very poor they belong to a particular tribe uh, belongs to armenia so they are armenian boys they belongs to a tribe tribals we call it tribals isn't it sc st nokka parayana st tribals means uh, basically people belong to tribal areas and uh, they have got uh, two hallmarks hallmarks means uh, characteristics our the quality what are the two identification if i ask you what are the hallmarks of the navodaya students uh, i don't know whether you will be able to tell me something about that navodaya students in anything the hallmark undo nengal ullai ait parayavo here these two boys uh, hallmark is trust and honesty they are trustworthy namukku avare vishwasikkan pattum and at the same time they are very honest people endana navodaya kutikalude quality hallmarks endana hello can you tell me something what is the hallmark of navodaya students endengil orkavo ah self disciplined self dependent independent adjustability you can say lot of things like that okay a lot of uh, positive qualities are there we are not going into the negative aspect of it uh, because we don't want to hear negative also uh, all navodaya students are self disciplined they are self dependent they are independent or we can say that uh, very adjustable they will adjust with the uh, any situation so in this particular story uh this lesson we are going to first uh, know something about the writer then we have a small introduction then we'll speak about the characters of the story then story in short lines and after that again if it is required we'll come to the text the name of the writer of course william saroyan is picture you can see on the screen now something about william saroyan he was born in fresno california he was born in california to armenian immigrants from bil bitlis in turkey so our author also belongs to armenia and that is why writes about armenian boys he is an immigrant and from california we know at the age of 3 after his father's death the saroyan has placed in the orphanage in orkland california you can imagine the youthful days of this father at the age of 3 very younger age he lost his father and then he was placed in an orphanage living in an orphanage in the place called orkland in california together with his brother and sister an experience he later described in his writing so he was not alone his brother and sister also was there in the same orphanage and later on when he started writing he wrote about his experience in that orphanage five years later the family reunited in fresno where his mother uh Takuhi secured work at a cannery. 
so what happened mother later on found a job in a cannery and family is reuniting five years this brothers and sisters spent in an orphanage we know that in the orphanage they don't get the nearness of their parents they are looked after maybe by the people who are responsible but then that nearness is not there that closeness is not there and because of that probably he lost many of his a lot of experience of the childhood but we find that five years of experience later the family is reuniting the brothers and sister and mother is coming together because mother was able to find out a job in a cannery now what is a cannery cannery is the place where food materials are canned canned nu arnjale deppayil aakuna swabhavana parcel center food materials are parceled that place is known as cannery so the mother got a job there and they started living together he continued his education on his own supporting himself by taking odd jobs such as working as an office manager for the san francisco telegraph company we find that younger days of the soroyan william soroyan is actually not very smooth he in order to continue his education he had to take a lot of odd jobs odd jobs nu arnjale sadharana aalkar cheyan ishtapadatha jolikal ellam cheyi and then even he has worked as an office manager for the san francisco telegraph company we can find many of our students also doing the same thing after going out from the navodaya family they have to continue their education lot of money has to be spent i know many of them in tiwandrum and all that they are engaging themselves in many odd jobs even in the night hours like a uh, uh, auto shop driver job and again taking tuitions in different houses vidugali poi tuition edukkana aalkar und and out of that whatever money they get they are making use of that money for their study or paying their fees etc i have contact with many of our children and they do this kind of jobs it is not bad self discipline self dependent they don't want to give more trouble to their parents because parents have supported them and they feel that whatever they can do it is good so our saroyan also just went in the same path now coming to the story the story depicts the passion and feeling of two poor armenian boys belonging to a tribe with the hallmark uh, hello marks of trust and honesty it is actually hallmark hello mark alla hallmark what will be hallmark where do you find a hallmark actually you find a hallmark normally mentioned in which industry can anybody tell me without wasting time if you can tell me you tell me otherwise i have to tell you it is connected with the jewelry ah jewelry gold industry you see hallmark because every jewelry that is produced in a particular jewelry they are giving hallmark actually hallmark means it's a trust term it's a mark of trust vishwasatha namaku vishwasam unda mark undengil namaku ariyam this has been produced by this particular jewelry for example francis alucas malabar gold like that any particular company and therefore i don't say that these other people who are trustable or anything or that's what i have just given the example only so uh you can return at least this thing after many years also because that hallmark is there hallmark is actually used in the field of uh, gold business so hallmark of a person means uh, how that person can be identified how do you identify a person we can say sometimes we might have heard people speaking that uh, oh this boy this girl he belonged to this family or she belonged to that family i know his father and mother therefore this boy or a girl may be very sincere very simple or reliable because if the parents are trustworthy 
then automatically children are also taken into consideration that they have acquired that good qualities from the parents so the hallmark of a family we say that is coming from such and such a family actually even though we say that there is nothing base nothing much to speak about uh, what you call uh, the background of a person because from whatever background you come you can rise up you can climb but our upbringing our basic concept that we have gathered in the family is very important for growing into a very successful person or to become a good human being because the first lesson of goodness is actually we are acquiring from the mother and father from the family from brothers and sisters and then only we are coming into the society so what happened this armenian tribe they are known for trust and honesty if we say that navodaya children are known for a certain quality likewise this armenians are known for two basic uh, uh, virtues that is one is trust and another one is honesty <clears throat> even if you keep uh, a armenian boy in your house and keep all your lockers open your gold and your money everything is open he will never steal okay he will not uh, uh, betray you so we can trust them we can believe them they are honest people they will not take advantage of us so is there any human beings who does not take advantage of other people the morning if you find somebody coming and telling good morning and they just uh, smiling and showing little more closeness towards us maybe towards the end of the day that person is going to ask you 100 rupees loan or 1000 rupees loan this is normally what we find in the human beings behavior but this people belong into this particular tribe they never take advantage of other people and they mele advantage edukan vendi avar behavior modify cheyala so now the characters of this story first one is aram aram is the main character of this story he is 9 year old boy murat aram's cousin his cousin brother we can say he is a few years older than aram khosro Aram's uncle Shro is a Aram's uncle John Bayro another person is the owner of the white horse the real owner of the white horse and also he is a farmer you might have seen dreams definitely especially young boys if i ask you what is a dream that you see in place of this horse you may not be dreaming about horses okay swapnam kaanunnathu horse ne kurichayirikkilla ningal kaanunna swapnam chalapam becoming an owner of a motor bike bullet is it not or ktm or something like that in olden times people belong into the tribe they are most fascinated towards horses so what is the dream of every boy belong into this type is that to ride a horse or horse in the mele keri irunnu poga ennulla or swapnam aanu avarku eppol undaaga so now let's imagine that aram is having a dream like so he is dreaming maybe and he thinks that uh, will it become a reality whether this dream is becoming a reality many things that we dream that does not become a reality now we are just coming to the short uh, substance of the story one early 4 o'clock aram was shocked to see his crazy cousin murad on a beautiful white horse so early morning when he got up he was in half dream he was shocked to see surprised not to able to believe it. that is a crazy crazy why is crazy people used him used to call him active very active therefore people say that he is a mad boy aram rubbed his eyes aram's earliest memories were those of horses and first long into ride but he could not believe his eyes for some very solid reasons so you see 
Aram just rubbed his eyes. He was sleeping. And early morning at 4 o'clock means it's a time to sleep. Normally people don't get up at 4 o'clock, I believe. You must be sleeping maybe for longer hours. When you are in Navodhya, you get up at 5, 5.30 before the morning assembly. But nowadays, I don't know what time you are getting up. You must be sleeping for longer hours. Actually, you should not uh, lose your habits. Even if you are at home, you should get up early because whatever is done early, that will have a better impact on you. It is the best time for study. Do a little bit of exercise and study and all that in the morning also. Anyway, he rubbed his eyes and when we looked through the window outside, he found that through the window he can see that his cousin Murad is sitting on a beautiful white horse. He was not able to believe. So he rubbed his eyes. And he, why he was not able to believe? You see, something is coming true what he really longed for. Because if you want to have a motorcycle or a car, that is your real ambition in your younger days. And on your birthday, your father is gifting you one of this. You will not be able to believe it. Early morning when you get up and just open your eyes, you find that, yes, it is in front of you. It is something like that. So he opened his eyes, looked through the window. He found his brother Murad, his cousin brother Murad is sitting on the top of a beautiful white horse so since he could not believe he thought that he was dreaming so he rubbed his eyes and now what is the history what is, why he is not able to believe because aram's earliest memories were those of horses and first longing to ride even the manish even the manasile even the manasile or memory and the horse ne kurchana Pine and eight to Billy Agregondana with a horse in the Mele Kerry Yatra Chiano. But he could not believe his eyes for some very solid reasons. But what he has seen right now, Ipa Kananda, and then Kananda, his cousin Murad is just sitting on a white horse, a beautiful white horse. He was not able to believe that. Why? There are some reasons are there. What are the solid reasons which prevent him to believe that? Really, cousin Murad is sitting in front of him on a white horse. First reason number one, their Garoglanian family was under poverty. Their family were famous for honesty for 11 long centuries. You see, the first reason why he was not able to believe what he uh, that what he sees in front of him that his cousin is sitting on top of the uh, white horse is that total Garoglanian family the people belonging to that particular tribe they were under poverty they cannot become an owner of a horse now his brother is not having a horse, his cousin is not having a horse because he is also poor. And since he is very poor, he is not able to believe that uh, he has purchased the horse, he is having a horse and now sitting on top of a horse. And another reason, their family were famous for honesty for 11 long centuries. What is the another <coughs> reason? Their family was honest for a long, uh, almost 11 centuries, 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 and again, third, they believed in right and wrong. All the members of the Garoglanian family, they believed in right and wrong. Satyam Shariyam. Shariyam Thetan Thirichariyanullah Kalvulla Vittigilana Ellavir. So he was thinking that he has brought the horse means how could he got the horse? 
he cannot purchase because he is very poor the total family is poor for the 11 centuries so he cannot get money to purchase the house so he understood the house was a stolen property even though he says that uh, they are honest people he will not steal but at the end he came to the conclusion that he might have stolen it but he himself thought stealing a horse for riding was not nothing like a stealing else such as money so he says that uh, stealing a horse for riding is not same as stealing a horse uh, stealing something like money nor anal endana ivada parayunnathu stealing a horse for riding karanam ride cheyan athreyam aagraham undayittu oru horse ne steal cheyunnathu pinne paisa kakkunnathu aayittu vyathasam undu if you steal money it is stealing really if you are stealing a horse because you want to ride it he says that uh, it is not stealing at all how does it what does it uh, suggest about the narrator this is the child psychology endana kutigalde psychology kutigalukku cheyan ishtamulla chala karyangale adu cheyyadi irikkan pattatha avasarathile avaru cheyyunna karyangalukku avaru justification kandupidikkum stealing at nallathalla ennu ivan ariyam pakshe ivan parayana ഇത്രയും ആഗ്രഹം റൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ എനിക്കുള്ളത് കൊണ്ട് ഒരു ഹോഴ്സിനെ കട്ട് അതിനെ മേലെ കയറി സഞ്ചരിക്കുന്നത് പണം കക്കുന്നത് പോലെയല്ല അതുകൊണ്ട് ഇതൊരു അത്ര വലിയ തെറ്റല്ല സോ ഹി ഗീവ്സ് ജസ്റ്റിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഫോർ ദ ആക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ഈസ് കസ് ഇൻ ബദർ ഇൻ ലെസ് ദാൻ ത്രീ മിനിസ് ദേവർ ഇൻ ഒലിവ് സോ ഹിസ് കസിൻ ഇൻവൈറ്റ് സീൻ കസിൻ അവനെ ഇൻവൈറ്റ് ചെയ്തു parnu if you want to ride you just come out of the house so what he did he leap through the window he went out and then riding on the horse rendu verum onnich avare engotta aanu povunnathu they were on olive street there is a street which is named olive street both of them went to olive avenue olive avenue avenue means street they went to the street and then the horse began to trot so when they reached uh, this uh, olive revenue uh, avenue the horse was walking early it began to trot t r o t it is not rot they started trotting trotting naranja oduga they rode together and murad sang loudly rendu verum onnich yathra iyan thodangi and after some time murad he started singing very loudly alas he had is solo ride so after riding together murad told aram that uh, you get down from the horse i will ride myself he had his solo ride nanna no trick ride yedu he raised his horse across a field of dry grass to an irrigation ditch and tossed it so when this murad was going to ride aram told that uh, uh, you should permit me also to ride നിന്റെ ചാൻസ് കഴിയുമ്പോൾ എനിക്ക് ഒറ്റയ്ക്ക് റൈഡ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള ചാൻസ് തരണമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ബട്ട് മുരാട് ചോളി ദാറ്റ് ഈഫ് ദ ഹോൾസ് പെർമിറ്റ്സ് യു യു ക്യാൻ റൈഡ് ഈ ഹാസ് നോ ഒബ്ജക്ഷൻ ബട്ട് അറാം സെയ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഏസ് ദ ഹോൾസ് വിൽ പെർമിറ്റ് മീ ബട്ട് മുരാട് ഹാസ് ഗോട്ട് എ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ക്യാരക്ടർ ഹീ ടോൾഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഹാവ് എ വേ വിത്ത് ദ ഹോൾസ് എനിക്ക് ഹോൾസ് മൃഗങ്ങളെ മാനേജ് ചെയ്യാൻ അറിയാം അവൻ ഇച്ചിരി അഹങ്കാരമുള്ള ഒരു ബോയിയാണ് ഈ ഫീൽസ് പ്രൗഡ് ഓഫ് ഹിസ് എബിലിറ്റി he says that i have a way with the horse and i will be able to ride but in your case i am not very sure so anyway finally he was given a chance aram was given a chance to ride alone when he was given a chance to drive alone the horse was not moving finally somehow he got the horse moving then what happened it just went into the field of dry grass and then to a irrigation ditch irrigation ditch nu arna kolavan irrigation vendi chedigal nanakkan vendi mundiri chedigal nanakkan vendi vellam collect cheyidirikkunna area a ditch na cross jump cheyidu and crossed the ditch <coughs> then came aram's chance so after murad i already told that aram is having a chance he leaped to his back and kicked into his muscle instead of irrigation ditch the horse ran to a vineyard through aram to the ground and run away 
it took them half an hour to find the horse so murad very comfortably managed to ride the horse and he has come back cross in the irrigation ditch and other things but when aram was given the chance the beginning it was not moving and murad told him that you kick the muscles horse in the side le kick kiya paranju aina control iyanulla oru control oru method aanu so when he just kicked the muscles the horse leaped and then what happened instead of going to the irrigation ditch the horse ran into the vineyard vineyard means mundiri thotam aanu oralde mundiri thotathilekku eduthi chaadi and threw aram to the ground aramine nelathe kittu uritti ittu and the horse ran away so murad managed to ride comfortably but aram was not able to do that it took them half an hour to find the horse and then two people got two ways to go to horse ne kaananayittu tappi and within half an hour they were able to find the horse finally they took it into a hiding place found by murad so finally after getting the horse they took this horse into a hiding place avare ee horse ne konde ore edathu olippichu nirthiyana aa olippichu nirthuna stalam kandupidichu murad thanneyana that day the real owner came their home and tells his story of the lost white horse so that day what happened the real owner of the horse who is that uh, john byro we have seen already john byro he came to the house of aram and he was discussing with the aram's father about his lost horse adeyo endanu paranjade ende horse nashtapettu aaro kattondu poi aram sangal kusrao blocked his blocked him for saying more by shouting quiet pay no attention to it so this kishro endu parayna vyakti is the uncle of aram this fellow is a hot tempered fellow he does not like any people just simply complaining anything whatever other people said he has got a standard question or standard answer to give pay no attention to adine kurichu srathikanda adu vittukala adu vittukala don't pay attention to it that was his standard sentence whenever anyone said anything endu parnjalo ayalu parayunnathu endana pay no 